Okay, hi folks, we're back for another teardown. Uh, in the last video I posted, uh, you saw me tearing down another hair removal device. And uh, this one I didn't get to because the other one turned out to be very complicated. So we're back to uh, finishing up this one quickly. So this is uh, the Sense Apple Bella Light, manufactured in Israel. And it's by Home Skinovation. So it's essentially um, a lamp high intensity lamp of light that essentially um, zaps hair follicles. Now the other one had a shaver as well, something to pull hair out. This one doesn't. Um, I'm not going to, uh, I just want to show you when you turn it on, the fan starts blowing here and this lamp is supposed to go on, but obviously it's spent. These things typically have um, numbering systems or, or, or counters that only allow them to go so long before their cartridges, uh, light cartridges have to be replaced. I guess it's for safety reasons or some other thing. Um, I'm gonna unplug it and we're gonna open it up. Now these markings that you see here are my fault. I uh, pre-opened it for the video so I wouldn't take 10 years to get into this thing. And boy, this thing was tough. These are not screw holes on the bottom. It actually had to be pried apart. Everything was glued together. And same with this thing here. This was all glued together, okay? But we'll get into the main unit first, just so we can see what's in here. And uh, I'm gonna try to get the capacitors and everything discharged. We don't wanna zap ourselves. So here we are. Uh, that's the power supply. And I guess there's a transformer that runs the power to the actual uh, unit. This must may be the mains transformer and then this transformer it goes out to the, well, there's actually two transformers here that go out to feed the lamp. So, and there's the con a control board up here, which you can see it has a little speaker on it too, right there, a little tweeter, um, a chirper. Okay, so let's get this thing out. Now, if you notice, it is screwed in. The uh, other one was not, and uh, it was all glued together. So I should be able to remove the board at least. Okay, one more screw up here. Okay, there we are. I just had this thing plugged in. So I'm going to take the liberty of discharging these caps because I don't know what voltage is on them now. Whoa, I hope you saw that. Still charged. Let's do this one. Whoa. Okay. That one's done. How about this one? Jeez. The importance, my friends, of discharging caps before you work on any electronics, that could have given me a nice shock, okay? And I mean, there are better ways than using a screwdriver, a resistor, that would be able to handle the shock would probably be better. Those were three big caps. There's one, another 400 volt jobby. Those were each 330. And that is, where is that connected? Over here. The leads aren't quite as large on it, but let's see what happens. All right, I think this board is pretty dead at this point. I don't see anything else live. Anyway, either way, I'm not gonna handle it too much, but that is a power supply board and that's one of the dangers of working on it. Do not let your guard down at a moment because yes, these things can retain voltage for a long time on them. I'm not sure how long that would have stayed on there, but not good. Let's disconnect this. And here, okay, so here's the board in isolation. That's providing the power to the lamp. Not as sophisticated as the, in the other video. It's a very simple, but quite hefty power supply board. Now, on the other side of the unit, we have this control module. This looks like it's just connected to some buttons. I'm assuming there's a little chip in here 
and probably a you know, microcontroller and a few LEDs because we saw some lights on the actual uh, on the actual buttons. So here we have it. Let's zoom in quickly and see what chip we have here. Microchip PIC 16 F887. We saw that on the other one. Um, and yeah, a few other components here. But that's the main control board, okay? And uh, let's have a look at the handle. Okay, so Bella Light, this is a cartridge. I'm gonna remove it for now. It seems to just have four connectors to it. And I pried this open. You can see that it was connected somehow through these pins that were glued down. No screws, okay? So the other side just slides out as well. See those? glued in and sandwiched inside of this you have a fan and you have a control a board that goes off to the actual oh that comes off the, the controls that go off to the lamp so this these four pins connect up to the lamp right there okay and what else do we have Let's try to unravel this and see. Okay, so fan, we heard that going. Extreme YS Tech, okay. That was cooling off the handle because obviously the lamp gets hot. We have here um, some kind of coil, I guess. What is this? Some large coil. That looks like a winding, right? And we have the brains. So there's some kind of a sensor here and it seems to um, pick up something. Here, there's a tab so we can remove this. I believe there's another, could be another tab over here somewhere, yeah. And that's it. And it's off, okay. And yeah, this is a light pipe. That's all it is. It's a light pipe that goes down to something on this board. Uh, could be that right there. A couple of LEDs, lights, and there's some, you, if you look carefully, you can see red, green, and blue. So it's almost like there's some kind of a sensor here. Maybe this shines light on the um, on the skin and that picks up the color and, and maybe senses whether something is, bad is happening to the skin. Um, I'm just trying to see, or, or it could perhaps um, use that to determine the sense or the color of the skin so that it changes the kind of light that it's, it's sending because it could you know, maybe if it's dark skin, it would do more damage if it shoots a certain intensity, who knows? But that seems to be what's going on here. Anyway, let's flip it around and see if we can find any other information. I'll take this off if I can. We have some chips here. Again, um, there's a, what looks like a Motorola pick F690. There's a, could be a memory chip or something there, STI or ST, and a few other components. Um, anyway, shorter, a little bit shorter video than the last one. Definitely less boards involved on this one. Um, but, oh, I forgot the most important thing, the lamp. So if we can open this up, it would be good. It looks like it's just tabs here. So let's see if we can pry this off and good luck with that one. Um, okay, there, there's two lamps in here actually, as you can see there. But I'd like to know what's going on inside of this thing. There we go. Okay. And that's it. Really? This is a piece of ceramic. Okay. 
there's a filter, some kind of yellow glass. And here is just straight to the, the lamps. Now, I don't see any sort of uh, chip on here or timer that would um, disable this. So I don't know where it's actually, um, no, it knows you know, how long this lamp's been in use. So it could be that it's just dead and that's all it is. And there's no timer or count. Um, so yeah, I don't see how it's, uh, it's keeping track of things because this looked like it was just going straight in and there's nothing else here. But anyway, there you have it. A tear down of the Bella lights. Lots of stuff going on here. I'm not sure if this is still popular or in use today, but um, that's what's going on inside. Quite a lot, I think, for a device that I, I would assume would be uh, much more simple. Especially this whole thing with sensing the skin color that I'm guessing is uh, the function of that, of that sensor here. That really uh, is interesting. Yeah, you can see it's pretty obvious, the colors. So why would it have a little disc there? See? Quite fascinating. Anyway, there you have it. Thanks for watching and catch you next time. Bye for now.